Ta-da! Okay, it's live. We're live. I think I'm just, I'm checking. We're live. We're good. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're ready to rock and roll, my friends. And I just realized I don't need my headset because we're not on our phone this time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to record because you're going to be dropping some awesome information. And you betcha. Okay, so hey everybody, my name is Elise Leininger and I live here in Montana. Just got back from a long trip in Hawaii because that's what we do in the wintertime now that I designed, have made the decision to design my life. <laughs> um, but I am a network marketing millionaire and in the last few years, we've had the opportunity to absolutely explode our business and completely change our lives and retire my hu husband from working at the hospital in orthopedic surgery. And I left my career of teaching um, probably 10 years ago because that's when I started my first online business. So I'm excited to have a special guest with you all here today. Um, my friend Brody, he lives in, do you live near Calgary? Yeah, I live yeah. in Calgary. <laughs> Yeah, so Calgary, which is, you know what, is really directly north of where I live here in Montana, but probably 12 hours drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, through the Rockies. Right, so we're uh, going to share with you all what's working on Instagram. I, I've had a literal Instagram explosion recently, and you know what, I made a decision last March of 2016. 18, I said, I am going to master Instagram. I'd already felt like I had mastered Facebook with a combined following of almost, I think I'm at almost um, 25,000 people between my fan page and personal page. Um, I've mastered YouTube. I have over a million views on my YouTube videos per month. And so <laughs> decided, you know what, got to master Instagram. Um, and I've learned that th in terms of demographics, um, there are, I would say the majority of users on Instagram are 35 and younger, but more and more people are starting to go there and learn it. Um, and then more of the Facebook users are 35 and older. So the cool thing is if you're an, an online entrepreneur, um, you're going to be reaching different demographics. So you've got to kind of change the way that you show up. And that's what I figured out over the last 12 months is um, the way that I show up on Instagram has created the success. So I had to change my angle because I think, I think last year, you know what, Brody, last year at this time, I think I was at only a few hundred followers and now I'm at 13,000 and it's, um, there, there's just so much that we can share with you all about how you can make it. I want to say make a killing, but I don't like using that word. <laughs> how you can explode. <laughs> how you can explode. I can have customers coming to you wanting your products and your yes. services. So Brody, I, I brought him on today because he's an Instagram expert and coach. And would you say coach or you're a trainer? Strategist. Strategist. Okay. Thank yeah. You. And um, you're also a professional photographer. He's the one who did my photos in Paris. If you all have seen those pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower or in front of the Chateau with the blue dress, everyone always tells me, oh my God, I love those photos. <laughs> So Brody was the mastermind behind Ooh, that. Yeah, so <laughs> fun. When we met three years ago, you were still in college. Mm -hmm. You were you made a decision to start building a business. I distinctly remember sitting in the St. Regis in Mallorca. Do you remember that morning? Yeah, I do. We were sitting there chatting and I was saying, oh my gosh, you're going to be so successful online. You've got the vision, the drive, the personality, you're charismatic. Like I can just see it. Anyway, that was an awesome moment to share with you, and hopefully it was inspiring too. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. And like, and just the same goes with Elise. Elise literally inspired me um, to open my mind to greater things. Like when I first met Elise, I was like, wow, this, what she does and what her mission is for people is absolutely amazing. And just being able to be in her circle with people and being here with you guys is so, so exciting because what she teaches you, and if you truly listen and learn from her, the possibilities are endless. Like I'll just say like you opened my mind up to so many new possibilities that I did not even know were possible. Like you said, I came from university. I was still in university. I actually just finished in April and I came from there 
And then I, I met people like Elise and got to work with people like Elise. And it's just the, the possibilities are en endless when you, when you have your mindset right and you just take action. So it's really, really cool. And I want to just even thank you for opening my mind for possibilities. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. And the neat thing is like generationally how this works, because now I have my son who's 14 and inspired by your work. And he's in, an, in a videographer course. And like, there's going to be a time. I just see it. You guys will work together. Like, it's so cool. Oh, yeah. No, so, I love it. Anyway, we're, we're here today because we want to share with you all some awesome tips for your Instagram. So drop the comment Instagram if you are looking to master it on Instagram and convert followers to sales, followers to customers. Yes. Uh, this applies to you across the board, whatever industry you're in. I am in network marketing. Um, Brody is also a lifestyle photographer. Yep. He works with yeah, I built coaches, personal um, and, and lifestyle brands. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, I built my brand um, similar to you. Like I started two years ago on Instagram and a lot of my businesses actually came from from Instagram, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to teach you guys today is actually transferable, no matter if you're a clothing line, if you're selling multi-level or like selling products um, in MLM or whatever it may be, which is really, really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So drop the comment Instagram because I have this really incredible virtual assistant who is going to send you the link so that you can join us on Saturday. It's at noon Eastern time. It is live. It's about 30, or I would say 45 minutes knowing the two of us. <laughs> we can't just stop. Like we're like, let's do one tip. No, let's do three. Okay, we're on <laughs> and so we're going to read dropping the tips to you, Brody, from his experience and perspective and me from mine and network marketing. And we're um, going live, like I said, on Saturday at noon Eastern, and there's going to be open Q&A at the end, so Ooh. you don't want to miss this, you guys. So you've got to um, drop the comment Instagram, click the share button, and share this out with people who need this information. Because I'm telling you what, there's such an opportunity on Instagram to grow an audience that loves you. Why? Because they fall in love with who you are and people resonate with people that they want to aspire to be like, that they can learn from, that they're entertained by. And so that's what we're finding on Instagram for myself and I know for Brody. So Brody, go ahead and share with them. What is probably your number one tip for how to convert a follower into a customer? Okay. Yeah. My number one tip for everyone and this is actually transferable across all platforms, but especially, especially important on Instagram is your content. So if you don't have good content, it's going to be harder for people to fall in love with you. So what is good content? It consists of two things. First, your visual, because here's the thing. People come on Instagram, they come across your visual. If it catches their eye or interests them, they'll read your post, which is awesome. Exactly what you want. Step number two is valuable content. So what is valuable content? It's educational, it's inspirational, it's entertainment, um, it shows results, and those are the four types. And there, you can, there's many ways to structure that out, but 100%, if you're on Instagram, and you need to dial in on your content. Um, so if you're struggling with that, make sure you put that Instagram in the comments because we're going to be talking a lot about that because that's the foundations to actually having a successful account. So that's my number one tip to get people attracted to you. Um, I mean, other things, and I think you would be awesome to talk on this is another tip for people is um, converting sales actually happens in the Instagram story. So I think because mm -hmm. um, we were chatting about this earlier, I would love for you to share because you've had some awesome results lately with that. Oh my gosh. So incredible. And, and, and also I want to invite you guys to follow us on our Instagram because I, I'm the type of person I have to watch someone doing it. But I also am very methodical in the way that I, I get out my planner, I get out my journal. I, I do three morning pages of journaling a day, set a timer. It's not always easy, but I'm committed because it helps me with creativity. It helps me come up with what to post on Instagram even, and um, even doing this with you, right? Yeah. So I, am, I encourage you all to get methodical in how you are showing up for yourself and your business. Because one thing that I've learned that when we hold ourselves back, like we say, okay, like uh, how long have you said, Brody, 
and this could be any platform. Maybe it's YouTube. I don't know if you have videos there, but how long have you said, oh yeah, I'm going to put up videos there. I'm going to show up there, right? Yeah, it happens all the time. And you, and you keep saying it, and then it's like a year later and you're like, no, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll call myself out. The one place that I haven't like gone there yet is podcasting. I even have my first five episodes ready to roll and I have it. I mean, <laughs> why? So in my morning yeah. pages, that's what I ask myself every day. Why am I not? And every day I come out with some reason and I'm like, I'm working through that and I'm getting to the root of it, I promise. But Instagram stories, the way that they work and they're most incredible for you is you've got to use the Instagram features, right? Because they're going to be feeding your stories into other people's news feeds by how popular they are and the interaction that happens on them. And also how often you're checking the story. So if you're checking my story frequently or Brody's story frequently, you'll start to see it when you log onto your Instagram at the top left. And um, you want to interact on stories. You want to click uh, answer a question or answer a poll or slide the little smiley face button, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. If you are posting, you want to utilize the features. You want to ask a question. You want to ask a poll. You want to do a Q&A time. Like I love doing this where I ask people, what questions do you have about how to build a multi-million dollar business online? And then I can use that to answer questions or to make a quick face or sorry, story on Instagram. Exactly. And, then and another there, thing too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. No, 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 no. Oh, another no, thing from no, there too, is because you can get your, <laughs> you get ideas for your content too, <laughs> but yeah, keep yeah. going. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> I was going to share is like, it's such good information and it kind of is a little bit in depth. So I think I better save it for Saturday. So type Instagram if you guys want in on that, we'll see a special invite. But um, already, I'm telling you what, it is incredible to pay attention to what your audience is talking about. And remember, you, you are attracting an audience of people that you want to serve with your heart, with your gifts. And so you're going to resonate with some and repel others. I'm telling you what, don't try and be, uh, how do we say, vanilla ice cream or somebody that's just appealing to all because it won't help you achieve the end goal of, of creating raving fans and a highly engaged audience if you try to keep your personality to, oh, you know what I'm saying. People pleasing, yeah. Yes. Exactly. You, I'd rather please... 3,000 people than a million people because those 3,000 people are going to be, like you said, your raving fans, the ones who right. buy from you, and the ones who are going to share your message. And that's, at the end of the day, that's the goal with Instagram, but also any other social platform. Oh, totally. And so when we're thinking about the stories um, and how you convert for the stories, you guys, type Instagram if you want the invite again for Saturday's live workshop. We're going to go super in depth because that's just what we do. Um, but the thing I want you to understand when you're you're considering this is the stories are important to create the habit of creating stories throughout your day. And I'll be honest, like um, I'm not like the younger generation. I'm 43. I'm not the younger generation that grew up with social media. I'm putting it all out there on social media. So I'll, I'll be honest. I do struggle a little bit with getting really nitty gritty down and dirty real behind the scenes like if I'm feeling crappy I will find I go dark on social media do you guys ever feel that way that was <laughs> me so, this week <laughs> I know right and so I should have I like yeah I should be real and honest and like out there and sharing my journey and okay fine I'll just say it I've been really struggling in, since Christmas with some stomach issue um, and we think it's an ulcer. So I've got to go in and I got to go to the GI clinic and, and because I'm in the health and wellness space, I felt like it didn't line up with my business because I'm health and wellness. I'm supposed to be totally healthy and well. Do you guys relate to that? Like, have you ever struggled with being real because you feel like you have to be this certain persona online? And so then you kind of want to hide this stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, being honest about it makes me feel better than trying to hide it. So don't hide the, the, the dark side because there's actually a great book called The Dark Side of the Light Chasers. If you guys haven't read that, please read it. <laughs> so good. So anyway, I just shared my secret on, on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having problems with my stomach and I got to go to the doctor, but that's okay, right? Are you it's okay. People find, people, people find 
there's other people who to relate to you, right? And that's the whole thing. Like sharing that stuff makes you relatable and that's what makes people fall in love with you. And they, <laughs> I can tell that I'm feeling really self-conscious because all of a sudden my face feels really hot. I'm feeling yeah. pain in the center of my forehead. You guys who know me and been to my you know. <laughs> I this is just, you know. And every single time I try and hide it like it's all good and I've got it all together. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I'm honest with people and I share it, like this weight is lifted. But I have to acknowledge that I'm going to feel really uncomfortable first. So if you've been struggling with showing up on Instagram, it could be part because you're trying to hide and make it all too pretty and perfect am i right you guys am i right click the share button if you feel like you've been hiding click type instagram if you want that live workshop brody and i are doing on saturday but oh my goodness my friends <laughs> there is just so much out there for you all and so much opportunity and literally just showing up crappy mood or if you're feeling sick and under the weather or if you've got something going on like health issue wise maybe even in, in your relationship you're struggling like do your morning pages so you can get all of the <laughs> drivel out into the Ouch. journal <laughs> but, it's not, but then and be real and be honest and be who you are and I think because I do think people can resonate with that and type it in the comments if you do, because I'm going to come back looking for a little bit of your support on that one. <laughs> Good. Yeah, no, I think, and that's, I love it because it's an authenticity and what you share. Like, like, mm -hmm. like I said, people are going to relate to you. It's, it's not everyone's a perfect human being. And I think too often on Instagram, Facebook, everything people yeah. show only the good. So yeah. it's okay to expose. It's okay to expose what you're feeling if things aren't going as well, because there's a story in that and yeah. people, people relate, people relate to it. Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. And God bless Instagram for the Kylie Jenner face, face filter. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> what i'm talking about go to my story i posted it today when i was announcing this interview with brody i used that kylie jenner face filter and i'm telling you what i went back and looked at it and i was like whoa that was <laughs> <laughs> like, i had literally no makeup i felt like uh, like in the winter time i know you feel this too probably but you feel like kind of this groggy weighed down feeling because it's so dark and cold and you're not outside breathing the fresh air and getting the sunshine anyway I felt that way today after having been in Hawaii yeah we're and sunny every day filter. So <laughs> and it works you have a filter all of you have a filter you can put on and you can show up anyway shitty feeling and all I'll just say it exactly exactly that's I love it I love it so number, and then I guess, so that's number two tip is on Instagram. And then I oh. want to go to number three. Yes, because I'm going to put this tape over my mouth because I keep it running. Okay. It's okay. All good. All, <laughs> all good. As you can see, when Elise and I get, get together, we would literally talk like all day long. <laughs> it's funny. But tip number three, for those of you guys hanging around still, is leveraging collaboration. So huh. Uh, if yeah, collaborations are huge, especially on Instagram. So if you have a group of people that you can shout out, so that's the thing. And I, I encourage you guys to do this is if you're watching this and you're loving it, take a picture of it, put it on your Instagram story and tag at Le Elise at Elise Alininger and at Broads Images. And we'll put those in the comments, put that on your Instagram story and we'll put that on ours. What that does is collaboration. Our audience sees your stuff. And vice yes. versa. So you yes. always want to be using collaborations. Powerful. So basically what he's saying is you take a, a screenshot of us smiling and Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, screenshot, you post it onto your Instagram, you share a takeaway about it. And then you guys, when we it will pop up in our inbox on Instagram, and then we will reshare it onto our stories for all of the people that follow us to see. And that's a great way of the collaboration. So type Instagram in the comments if you're down with joining us on Saturday for this live workshop. And guess what? It's recorded. We will be sending yeah. it out via everyone who um, asks for that information by typing Instagram. You'll get it automatically. And we even have this video today recorded so if you missed any of the nuggets um or if you are catching the replay you can type instagram you'll get that there as well and here's the thing 
sometimes if you're going to follow me and probably Brody too, because I know him, you're going to notice that we get off on a tangent. And here's the cool thing about watching the video. You can fast forward over the part yeah. where people are going blah, blah, blah. And you want to get to the goods. You just do a little fast forward and you get to the goods. <laughs> like, yeah. I love it. I love it. So good. Yeah, no, thank you guys. So I'm, we're hoping that we see you guys on Saturday. Do not miss that because we're dropping our best value bombs in there. And there's a question and answer. So if you have specific questions on Instagram, come to that because we can help you. We've been through it all and we've kind of been through the trenches the last couple of years of building a following and actually turning them into customers. So you want to be there. Yes, 100%. We appreciate you guys. We are excited to see you on Saturday. Keep showing up for your business. My little side tip, closing tip, I can't stop talking about it, is doing your journaling. Bro, do you journal every day? Not every day, but I do some. I need to get in the habit. I just announced a 30-day journaling challenge. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> And it's not I'm in. Guys, anyone who's in, I want to know um, if you want to learn about this, you're going to want to do, I'm going to, you're going to have to follow my stories. That's where I'm going to be sharing this information, but essentially okay. you're going to type or you're going to pull out your journal first thing in the morning. And guess what? You're going to set a timer for 25 minutes. Literally, this is all it's going to take. It could take less if you write big or you make some lists or whatever, but you just get everything out of your head and into pay onto the paper. And sometimes you might be writing about what you're frustrated about. You might be writing, like I shared earlier about how I was procrastinating on something. I needed to get to the heart of that. Like it just gives you the time to really drop it down onto paper and start, like you'll start to notice a theme will develop each day. So 30 days, like I announced it today. We're doing this for 30 days. Like it's just kind of fun. So side note, PS, that's your bonus. Okay. <laughs> Who's doing it with me? So, someone joined in with me. I need accountability party. So let me know I'm if someone wants to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, have an amazing yeah. evening. Yeah. Click that share button. Yes, have guys. an amazing evening. Have an amazing Valentine's the day of love. Hopefully you got some love from today from this training. <laughs> Heart, heart, heart. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And we enjoyed this time with you. I mean, we went, we just went live, what, three or four times in a row. Yeah. Was we're everywhere. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>